Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a thread in VB.NET. So first thing, create one console VB.NET application in Visual Studio and you will have empty modules such as this. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to import systems threading. So import and here we call for system then dot threading okay once you call for that inside your main subroutine I want you to create one variable let's name it th adds new thread okay now inside this thread we are going to create one subroutine okay so that subroutine is basically going to output information such as let's say new thread started okay now outside this we are going to simply call for th dot start okay when we call for th dot start it it will start the thread and this message new thread started will be in our console okay next thing we are going to call for join method so that the current created thread will join the rest of the other threads within your system process okay so basically your thread is a set of process that runs one at a time so one thread that we create will be one process and your system is going to handle multiple set of such processes so as to handle its multitasking okay so finally we will use console dot read to hold our output so what we are going to do here is we are simply creating one variable and initiating a new thread inside that new thread we are simply outputting new thread started message you can perform any other tasks such as creating a loop or you can go for opening file or opening database connection okay after that you call for that variable and then start method so this new variable is basically an object which is connected to your new thread okay so it can call start method also the join method start method is to start your thread and any code within your subroutine of this thread will run okay and join will join your existing thread with another set of threads within your systems process finally console read so as to pause the output that we get here so this console write line will be paused on our console so let's run this and check out how it works so as you can see new thread started we are basically running our thread in background okay also there is one more method that you can see which is about okay this about method will destroy any thread that is created in the process okay so let's say you are running something specific like database connection or let's say file reading and you encounter an exception then you can about the thread and run any other code okay so this was simple demo on how to create thread in vb.net